All right, guys. This is uh, this is my finished setup. I know I've been saying I was gonna have to do an update video for a while, but this is it. Uh, set up my new little R2. It's a lot more better workroom for me. Got my Wacom Digital Pad, my keyboard, everything like that. Uh, got my 640 gig portable hard drive. Uh, my my Wacom Pen, which is my lifesaver for my artwork. Uh, my printer. And I also daisy chained HDMI to my 32 inch HD TV, which you can see I'm running the same thing here. I'll just start this benchmark while I'm walking you through this video here. Probably average of like, you know, 170 frames per second. Running over here also. What I did here was I put some more fans in. As you can see, they're pretty glaring. I uh, put a couple 120 inch uh, Logisys fans. And the memory fan, which I love, is the OCZ uh, RAM cooler. Uh, anyone who has access to this thing, this is the version 2, get it. Uh, that thing clamps on tighter than hell. I've heard a lot of people say that they have had problems uh, with that, but I didn't have I didn't have any issue at all uh, with these boards. It's meant to it's made to cover you know i7 boards too, so it can cover you know six RAM slots. So just uh, if you don't have clearance, just mount it on the right. Two, and the fans still cover the inside two fans as you can see it's covered and it's definitely high enough that uh, even even memory with huge huge heat sinks on top of them uh, are a non-issue uh, so now I basically got real good cable management going up through here a uh, lot, lot better setup than I had before so this is, there's no uh, dead air uh, going through this case. Uh, it's, it's like a suction when uh, I try taking the cover off, which is kind of hilarious, like thunk. Um, that's pretty slick, so I can play, you know, on the, on the big 32 inch if I want to. Uh, no issue. So uh, this is my, my finished setup. Uh, Got my RAM timings running real good. Everything's running at 3.6 3 right now. Uh, I adjusted the timings on the RAM at 13.33 to uh, the timings to 8.88.24. Uh, 2T and it, it runs a lot, a lot better. Uh, no more, no more micro stuttering. I held off on getting the uh, 58.70 just because I had some medical issues uh, coming up, but luckily they canceled that order for me. Uh, if I can find someone to purchase my uh, 4890, uh, I'll buy the 5870 in a heartbeat. But until then, this obviously, if my 4890 is running the most current games at you know 100 and 130 frames per second average, uh, there's really no point in replacing it except for uh, the energy efficiency and the triple monitor setup, which I do plan on setting up soon so if I do make another video that will be what I make it of is doing the iFinity on that 5870 so I hope you like the changes I did to my setup here um, mainly did it to make sure that this system has a long happy life uh, I think it will now and just because overclocking that memory I mean that was the only issue was the heat that was coming off the memory overclocking 8 gig. Well guess what, I don't have that issue no more. Uh, this thing is kind of nice because it has a low and a high setting on it. As you can see it gets a lot brighter, it starts sucking a lot of power, but you really don't need anything more than low, especially with that 120 millimeter and these. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 820 millimeter fans, the 250 on the top. And then these are 260s on this uh, Corsair. So, a lot of fans. 
but it's very, very quiet. So everything's on, all the fan settings are on low, which you don't need to put them any higher than that because there's no dead air in this case. Uh, even uh, put a thermometer in there, it says it's about 72 degrees, so can't complain. Hope you all like this new setup, and let me know if you have any ideas for me to do next time. All right? Peace out.